YouTubers, I'm sorry, I'm subscribers. This is the Pro Gamer Dad Man, and today we will be building a good house for us to build. It is a starter house, by the way. It is three by three in the inside. So let's get started. First, we're gonna do an oak wood shape, which is very simple since it's only three by three in the inside. Fill the inside floor with whatever block you want. I pick stone brick because, well, it's as good as cobblestone. You could use cobblestone, carpet, whatever you want, whatever suits you best. So, now, by the way, I have night vision potion because I'm recording this in nighttime. It kinda looks beautiful. So, we're gonna be making the walls. Raise this up. So it's four blocks high. And fill it with oak wood. We are going to be making a very simple roof, but you might fit an extra bedroom in there. Well, a little tiny bedroom with a couple of chests. The best way to deal with small houses in the interior is to, well, cram as much chest, furnace, and crafting tables in there and make it look good. So, for this roof, we're going to be using cobblestone for our overhang. As so. So, what you want to do is go put your cobblestone on a wall. Go outward a bit and put cobblestone that looks like this. It'll give it more curvature. And yes, Minecraft is not round at all. It is just a block. Literally, a block. But you can also make things look curvy from, if from far away. As so by doing this. It doesn't look like a straight ass line. And I'm sorry for cursing. So, we're gonna fill this up with cobblestone stairs. I will cut the video, so I will save time. And so, now we are here. This is when you finish the overhang of your roof. We're gonna fill this up with oak wood. And now, oh shoot. Okay, mind that tech, mind that technical difficulty there. So, now we will fill this up with stone brick stairs. You can easily make them by crafting four pieces of stone together after heating up cobblestone, which makes it e attainable to get in basically every place like in a village and a stronghold and a desert at, at least if you have wooden tools so yes a good thing to do is fill the very tippy top with only one layer we're gonna be doing some minor detail so this building can have a bit more depth so it doesn't look flat at all So, one way we can do this is, if we do, if we put a glass pane, decorate it with some minor things, like uh, the old classic, old um, trap door on top of an open wooden fence gate. It actually looks like the trap door is being supported than just flying in the air because there's no physics in Minecraft. So we, I will keep doing this until the until the entire house is detailed. Oh shoot! Um, no one saw that vandalism. No one saw that vandalism. Okay, so 
one more thing. I forgot. I forgot this. It was in the back of my mind. You could put wooden staircases to make it have a bit depth. You don't have to do it, but it'll look good. Well, it wouldn't look flat, obviously. So, you can do this with whatever building you want, fl flat or not like these other buildings. So, we are going to keep doing this until the entire house is detailed. As we are waiting, how are you doing? Well, if you want to learn some other YouTubers who build, you can check Mr. QB, Brian. They're very good, talented builders, and you and I, you should definitely subscribe to their YouTube channel. So we're gonna keep on, keep on detailing this house so it's properly detailed. For the front, I'm going to add a little window here that I'm not putting in the back. So it doesn't look completely flat. So, as we did with the other walls, we're going to do staircases. And no, it's not going to affect not going to affect the interior. Because duh. So, this is what your build should look like. You know, I'm too lazy to get a stone brick block, so I'm just gonna do this. You can choose any door of your liking, when it, whether it be spruce, birch, but I'm just gonna use a good old spruce wood door, just to give the, well, house a bit more variety in color. And if you want to give it even more color, you can go and add phone meal. Some greenery like grass, flowers, can make it look good. Especially a good old farm on to the side. So actually, we're going to be making a farm. Going to make it out of, well, birch wood. To give it... Actually, no. I'm going to make it out of cobblestone wall. It fits in with the roof very nicely. And it also fits in with the grayish brown build we have here. And you can add whatever you want. You can maybe add like your little dog to play with if you're in survival. So, we will grab a hoe. And uh, that sounds wrong now that I just said that. We're going to grab a hoe and then bone meal, which we already have. Some water. When, wait, give me a second. Some water. And finally, we need some wheat. The seeds. You might be able to grow maybe... One or two pieces of bread a day. Still good for survival. And bone meal, you can easily murder some skeletons for that bone meal. So, I'm going to decorate this place with torches. So in the night, I don't have to use a night vision potion. So, I'm going to go here. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to put a torch here. No, 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 no. A torch here. A torch here. And a torch here. So, and if you have a shovel with you, I want to use a wooden one because, duh, I'm derpy. We are going to make a little pathway to help us, such as like this. And if you don't want any mobs to follow you and murder you, you should, I should recommend making a little wall, which will take a, uh, um, 
Okay, a big wall. Not trying to copy Donald Trump or else he will like do something. And I am sorry for making a Donald Trump joke. So, we're gonna make a big wall. Ah, dang it, I made another one. And, and it wasn't even intentional. Okay, so, once we've done this, your exterior should look very nice, very pretty, and very easy to get. Now, I, I forgot to put the seeds in, so I hope no one saw that. And now, let's work on the interior. Yay, not really. So, this is what you will have for your interior. Some good ways to decorate it. Hmm, ooh, I know. It's best to make some state to use some things that you made from your exterior, like some leftovers. Because maybe you made a, a bit more cobblestone wall than you imagined. So, to be good, I will put cobblestone wall right... Oh, no! No! Um... Uh... Ooh, ee, uh, bleh, uh, ooh, bleh, bleh, bleh. uh Okay, nobody saw that. Um, so, we'll put, oh, actually. Okay, fine. We will put, you know what, no, not doing that, not doing that, not doing that. So, a good way to decorate your small little build is to put as much space in it as possible, but still make it look good. Some chests, crafting table, wooden shovels, and rails. Heck, why not an armor stand? It'll, it'll, they're little things that make the build look good. And with trap doors, you can do stuff like this to make as much storage as possible. So, gonna quickly add some. Um, uh, you know what? Nobody saw that. Okay, so we're gonna quickly make a good interior. Some crafting table here. Some, hmm. Oh, wait, no, that wouldn't go good. A good old furnace here. Gonna put the crafting table here, the furnace, you know, I, I don't know anymore. So I'm just gonna put two chests, one tech crafting table, two furnaces, and actually one furnace. I'm gonna put this here. Now, as we wait, I'm gonna get a white bed because we're more likely to get white sheep. So, that will be your interior. Oh yeah, almost forgot. Armor stands. Be sure to light up your room as much as possible. So, that will be all for this house. If you want to check my channel, go hit the like button and subscribe. Stay tuned.